welcome back to another video folks thanks for tuning in great to have you along as always lush out there again today winds dropped a bit so i was able to have me a breakfast outside so i'm in a, a perky mood today no wasps either which is great for me because they wind me up like they do everyone wind the boy up as well he knows he's not allowed to chase them so as soon as a wasp comes along he runs inside because he thinks he's going to get told off if he does something to him or something um but today's video Thoughtful Thursday, I've stolen that off someone. Thanks very much, Joe, gave me that idea. Uh, many of the best ideas in life have pinched off other people, I reckon. So yeah, Thoughtful Thursday. It's gonna be a short one, like a genuinely short one for a change. And it's gonna be, as the title of the video will have already suggested, uh, about whether using the shelf in climbing belay setups is a good idea or not. Spoiler alert, it, it normally is, right? But there is a little consideration for it, which we'll look at now. Um, I've banged on about the shelf before. Some people have asked me what it what it is, what it what it means, because um, you know it's a little specific climbing term, isn't it? So I'll just quickly mention that, and I'll quickly mention just something to, that's maybe worth thinking about. So I'm going to snap my fingers and test my editing skills on the snap. I'm going to snap to Sling Mountain, okay? It would help if I could. I can't really click my fingers very loudly. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm back in the game. I'm back in the game. Did it work? Maybe I've got to do it close to the microphone. I put the microphone down here, so I'll try it again. Here we are, back on Sling Mountain. Uh, thanks for humouring me with my silly little uh, joins. What is there? What's the name for linking two bits on a video? I don't even know. Uh, sort of a transition, but it's not really a transition. I'm sure there's a proper phrase for it. Lockdown's been going on a while, eh? so these little things just keep me amused. It must be good for my mental health, or it may be even bad for my mental health. I'm not sure which, but anyway, thanks for humouring me. I've led up my pitch. I've used two anchors to uh, form a belay that I'm gonna now link together with this sling. Pretty standard stuff, isn't it? Uh, and what's next is I would normally tie an overhand in there, right? Equalized, independent, got an angle, great. What would I do next? I'd clip into it. And one option is to clip into the shelf. That's this bit here above the knot, okay? There's options here, there's always options, isn't there? But I'm going to clip into that for now, make myself safe. Clove hitched in, great. Do them up. Shout down to make them safe. Put my guide plate in, love a bit of guide plate action, don't I? Uh, clip and flip. Oh, do it up. Imagine if I didn't do a carabiner up, even though it's on Sling Mountain. Someone, I bet I'd get a few comments on that for sure off the internet. People love that kind of stuff, don't they? Uh, right, let's load him up. Clip him, do him up as well, of course. Shout down to my mate, climb when you're ready, belay them up, happy days. They fall off or something, no drama, it's all on there, it's all perfectly safe, that isn't it? Why is it nice to use the shelf? Well, it just keeps things a little bit separate, stops rubbing and things, but it's just nice and neat as well, isn't it? So I am a fan of using the shelf for sure. But, you know, the video is about provoking some thought, wasn't it? That was the idea. So imagine my mates now got up to me and they're going to clip themselves in to the shelf as well, the same as I have, right? Because it's all nice and clear and out of the way and everything. That's all good. I'm going to take them off belay because I'm going to, uh, you know, maybe swap it onto my belay loop. I could probably do it a slightly different way, but for this, so I'm just taking them completely off belay. Okay. They're clipped in. I'm clipped in. All is good with the world. I take off my guide plate. Clip that to my harness. Is everything still good with the world? I haven't clipped another uh, crab in here to keep it clear or anything, but remember my mate's in there as well. There's nothing clipped into these little loops. Uh, it always makes me, I'm not gonna say nervous, but it's, it's, a, it's a slight concern at least. I'm always banging onto people that if they do this, they should at least leave something clipped in there, even if it's just a snap gate. But why is that? Well, there is a chance, right? if I haven't properly dressed and stressed this knot, and I'm always banging on about that as well, but if I haven't and this is loose, what could happen if I kind of fell off this ledge now and weighted it, having not put any weight through that knot yet? It could roll, couldn't it? So this is always a bit fiddly to do when you're trying to make it up, so I'm going to loosen it a little bit to exaggerate it. But as I pull on the back of the knot by pulling down on that lot, the knot could capsize, and because I've got little tiny loops there and nothing clipped to them, they could pop through everything. And what do you think is going to happen when that pops through? Am I going to shock load the system? 
have a little think. Okay, that's popping through any second. No shock loading whatsoever. I haven't weighted them at all, have I? Literally slid off the end of a sling. It's not great, is it? So thoughtful Thursday was the idea, wasn't it? Right? Do you think there's a better way of doing it then? Maybe there is. Maybe what we should do is create our PowerPoint, clip into those loops, clip and flip. I've already got the clover chin. I could tighten that up if I want to. And then maybe it would be a better idea to put my guide plate on the shelf, do all that action, and then there's always something in here. When my mate comes up, they're going to clip into the same loop. I can take that off the shelf. There's always been something in those little loops. So is the shelf good? Yeah, it's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? It just keeps things neat and tidy. Can clip my water bottle to it, my rucksack to it, if I'm doing that kind of multi-pitch, my guidebook, my trainers, whatever. But I do like to keep something in there at all times. All right, have a little think about that. Next one then is just the final little bit on a similar point. Could we achieve the same thing with a three point anchor using a sling? Yes, we could, couldn't we? We've done that before. What would the effect be? Would I still slide off the end of the uh, delay? Well, let's have a look. Got my 240, do them up. Okay, super simple, do them up. Gonna make a W shape as always, do them up. Should have self lockers for this, it'd save me some. Maybe my videos would be shorter if I use self lockers. Good idea, isn't it? There we go, right. So it's the same idea, isn't it? We tie a knot in there. And let's just do the same sort of thing then. If I clip into the carabiner back, two and three there, I think that's all clipped right. I'll just put a clover in to simulate that. Okay, now worst case again that that knot rolls open, capsizes, what's going to happen this time? <sighs> I'm not sliding off the end, but I am going to shock load this system quite dramatically. It's quite a lot of movement there on a 240, isn't it? So is that a good thing? No, it's not a good thing either, is it? So again, it's just the logistics, really, of what you clip to where. So have a little think about it. There is actually a way of twisting a sling a little bit differently when you set that original uh, belay up that would stop you coming off the end. So have a little play with that, see if you can figure that out. But really, I just think, why don't we use the bottom of the PowerPoint for us and then use the shelf for the extra things? Will I still do it the other way around on occasion? Yeah, I probably will, but it's nice to be aware of its limitations, isn't it? So what's the point? Why, why don't we just default to doing it the other way? Thoughtful Thursday, there you go. Please do fire away with any questions. As always, you know the score, I'll answer as best I can. Don't forget your little bit of homework to find out the kilonewtons required to make an overhand roll in a sling. That'd be interesting to know. And remember, there's different kinds of slings that might make a difference to this uh, happening or not. I've, all my slings are fairly skinny, but this is quite furry, eight millimeters. This is six millimeters and really shiny. So will that roll at a lower force? Probably is the answer. So there's some considerations, isn't there? So yeah, do, do that little bit of homework. That'd be interesting though. Put your answers in the comments if you can find something useful. Chuck a link in there. Learning for me as well, isn't it? I love it. You know the score about Insta and Facebook, different things go on there. Insta's full of old climbing pictures at the moment because I can't get too many new ones, can I? What's today's or yesterday's? It'll be Creeping Lima, a great E2, it's fallen down now. Uh, yellow walls at um, over by Castle Helen uh, on Anglesey, brilliant, brilliant climbing there. Uh, but yeah, find us on there, give us a follow, it's all much appreciated. Click that like button if you've liked it, smash the subscribe button. Gone well over a thousand now, it's well good. Uh, thanks for your continued support, it's ace. Give us some requests as well if you've got any other videos you'd like doing. Always good to top up the list with that kind of stuff. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. More videos coming up very soon. Yeah.